my name is Marina Bartolina, and thank you very much for um, kind of your um, explanation, the complexity of the situation um, at the um, Eastern Ukraine. Um, my question is, what do you think, is there um, part, or if the forces in American government and in the West generally, who um, uh, comprehend uh, the complexity of uh, the relationships between Ukraine and Russia and who are capable not uh, to find um, any, uh, uh, to help to find any decision in that region and um, will be able to um, negotiate uh, or help to negotiate rather than finding uh, or using uh, insults of um, head of the Russian state, which doesn't matter how we see him or how we relate to him, he's still head of the state. And uh, talking about him as about um, somebody who is worse than Hitler makes um, a dinner conversation uh, probably slightly awkward. Um, so I just wonder what you think about it and what you think um, who uh, you think would be able uh, to deal with it. And if there is any willing American government actually to help, rather they use it maybe as next election campaign um, uh, asset. Okay, so I, so I, we take it that the question is, are there people or agencies in the West who first of all understand the interaction between Russia and Ukraine and secondly would be competent to help? Yes, agencies may be, yeah. but yeah. I'm yeah. talking about yeah. the Okay, government. so that's the question. Well, <laughs> I think there are, you know, there are many people uh, in, the, uh, in the West uh, that are familiar with Ukraine. Most of the people are, come from one section or the other and predominantly we have many more Ukrainians uh, from the West uh, than from the East for a whole uh, the patterns of, uh, of, of. So what you hear in the West is much more the, uh, the Western Ukrainian uh, view, which is a highly nationalist view. Uh, and um, I think that the, our, the, one of the problems is our publics at large don't know a lot about Ukraine. Uh, and uh, in fact, at one poll a year ago, it may be better now, only one in six Americans could actually place Ukraine on the map. Uh, and it, it turned out that those who knew the least were the most likely to back a more active American role. So um, are there people who understand? Yes, I think there are. Uh, but I'm, I must say, I don't think we're getting a very balanced view out of our mainstream press on both, uh, whether it's liberal or conservative. Uh, uh, in the United States, at least, some of the best articles have come, you might say, from the ideological extremes. Uh, the American conservative, which is paleoconservative, not neoconservative, or the nation, <laughs> which is, which is uh, one of our most liberal ones you'll get a very similar approach to the two uh, based upon, uh, I would say, the feeling that the United States should not be directly involved there because our direct involvement probably makes things worse. Uh, and and it, you would have different views as to who is right and wrong. I think most feel that, well, Ukraine has had a a uh, tremendous problem and that Russia has exploited that and uh, that that is not acceptable. On the other hand, the question where we tend to differ with others is what we in the outside should do about it because up to now, I think what we've been doing about it has been making the situation worse rather than better, which doesn't mean we have caused it. Very good. And there's a question there, yes? Uh, 